Hey everybody, my name is Josh, and uh, I, today I went out and I bought the new Canon Vixia HFW10. The 10 comes with um, 8 gigabytes of hard drive built into it. The 11 has 32. They didn't have an 11, uh, but I went ahead and bought the, the, this one because this is what they had and I needed a new camera. Uh, I mainly use this, I'm going to use this, for my vlog, or not my vlog, my podcast, excuse me, Stuff I Heard podcast. Um, this camera here uh, shoots really good video, and it's very user-friendly as far as the size, the weight, the, the ability to handle it. It's also waterproof and shockproof, so if I took this on vacation, I could film some pretty cool stuff that way. Um, I like the fact that on the back here, when you flip this open, there is a little thing that you can operate to open the back up. When you open this up, it automatically cuts on. Do -do -do. Okay, so whenever you do that, there's a little button down here on the bottom that you can depress, and then you slide this little door to the side, and that allows this to open. Inside of here, you have different connectors. You have a connector for an HDMI cable, a connector for a um, like an audio device, if like a microphone, uh, and then you have a, a connector down here that you can connect an SD or a, a, a micro SD thing for the... Um, connecting the, to your computer or to a charger. Um, the memory card goes in this flat spot right there. Now, it says to use something that's fast. Uh, it recommends using like, like SanDisk, um, you know, Panasonic, the big name brands, not the off name brands. It also says, I didn't realize this, I'll, I've learned it this evening, that's why I'm making this video, not to use a micro SD card, even if you have a, 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 a converter, uh, which I happen to have a converter and I had a micro SD card plugged into it and it wasn't working. But I just happened to have a 64 gigabyte Extreme Pro SanDisk that was in my big camera. Uh, I got it out, I had to format it in the, in the actual camera here, but it slides with the label facing the lens. You slide it in until you hear it click. You gotta use your thumb. Once you hear it click, it's in there, okay? So if you go in here to menu, and you go to setup, and scroll down, you can see how it says record media for video. Right there it says SD, that means your card. Uh, record media for image SD. There's one on here for, um, you can actually go to your hard drive or whatever. Then there's this, this factory reset or format SD card. I go in here to format SD card, and then it's got uh, file, and it's got file plus management no. I don't know what the management no means, but I've just been collecting file, and hit yes, and that formats the disk so that it gets it ready to record on this device, and it also clears off anything you've recorded before, okay? So I hit okay, and I close my little door back here, and I actually need that open. The door is reinforced for you to actually film underwater, which is pretty darn cool. Okay, so let's say I want to record something. This is the hard part. I couldn't figure out how to get the video onto my MacBook uh, because in the past, I've been shooting with a camera, a big, I'll show you. I've been recording with a big camera and then I've been putting the video from here and then importing it through photos and then converting it over into iMovie and then having to format it for uh, a movie that I can put on YouTube after that. I've been doing it with that and also with a GoPro, the GoPro Hero 7. Same kind of thing. I've been importing it into, into photos, manipulating it, moving it over to iMovie. It's like an extra step. When I went to do it with this, first off, when you take the, the disc out and plug it into your computer, it says no photos. Well, of course there's no photos because it's shooting video. This separates the idea of photos and video, whereas a camera is going to think of it as photos. Video only goes to iMovie, which I didn't figure that out until several hours into making myself crazy looking at videos. I actually went online and looked at a lot of people's videos. None of it was helpful. None of it. This has got to be such a new camera that nobody's like, oh my God, I didn't know how to do that. Either that or I'm an idiot. And that's probably the case. But anyway, I wanted to share this information with you because I just figured it out. Okay, so let's say I'm recording. I hit the record button. Okay, and now I'm recording myself talking to blah, 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 and I'm recording you, and hey, how are you? Hey. Okay, 
let's say I record, I don't know, let's give it a little while. I'm gonna record stuff around the room, blah, blah, blah. Let it get to about, I don't know, that's enough. About 20 seconds, okay? I'm gonna hit the record button again. It stops it, okay? Now, what I've learned is, when you close the door, it turns off. See the little green button on top? The little green light, it turns off? Okay. You, come, you get this little cable. I'll show you guys. You get this little cable, okay, attached to a, to a, a USB, okay, it's in the computer already. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take that little cable and I'm gonna plug it into that little, that little port we talked about earlier. I have to open this door just a little bit in order to get this to slide open. So I'm gonna push my thumb down there, slide this open. Technical difficulties. Okay, and I'm gonna plug it in. It only goes one way. Once I plug it in, you notice I got my computer open and nothing happened. There's, there's no activity whatsoever. You have to actually open the camera up. When you open the camera up, it'll ask you a question. It says, dun, dun, dun. okay, right here it says, uh, select device type to connect. And it says connect to PC or connect to other. I'm gonna connect it to PC. And it says connect to PC, playback on PC. You hit that button right there. And then it gives you a little picture of a PC that's open. Once it does that, this happens. Let me spin you guys around so you can see what's on the screen because I'm gonna do the rest the other way. Here, I've got two things listed. This is Canon MEM and this is Canon SD. The MEM is the internal hard drive. The SD is what you just recorded. There's no sense in opening those right now. But what you can do is you go down here to iMovie, open up iMovie. When iMovie opens up, You go in here, import, looky there. Hang on. Okay, so it was there, I don't know what I was doing wrong. Um, it's right here, okay? I go in here and I hit import all, boom. And right there it is. I can actually grab that and now I can drag it down here and look, there you guys are. The whole video. Hit the record button. Okay, and now I'm recording myself talking to blah, 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 and I'm recording you, and hey, how are you? Hey. Look at there. Video and a video and a video. And you're watching the video. I don't know, let's give it a little while. This is so meta. stuff around the room, blah, blah, blah. Let it get to about, I don't know. Okay, so once it's there, then all you gotta do is save it. You go up here, you hit that, you hit the file, you hit save, and then you import it into YouTube and upload it. So this is the crazy part I've been racking my head with all evening. I was, I was trying to figure out why it wasn't loading and I was going through all the steps that I thought would, would make it go. And I was like, where is the video? Why isn't it working? Why can't I get the thing to open in photos? Well, of course it's not a photo. So I've ordered a memory card for this. I'm gonna use the one from the big camera until I get the new memory card in. Um, and, uh, and, and we're off and running. So anyway. I just wanted to make the video because I didn't see another one like it and I figured I might as well make the one that, that people need to watch. So there you go. Hope it helps somebody. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care.